Welcome back everyone. So we've just installed the DC surge protection. Now it's time to install the AC surge protection. I'm gonna mount this little box up on the wall here. This will feed into the panel. One cable We'll go down to the AC isolators and then another cable into the servo. One of the digital inputs will be connected to the relay on the SPD. And I'll get an email alert if there's ever an issue. I'll start by taking the cover off the AC circuit breakers. This is the parallel connection for the three inverters and also take the cover off the servo so I have access to the digital input. The AC surge panel has been fitted to the wall now. Got a stainless steel screw up there. It's got a couple more to add. So I've run my cables in. Gonna add another boot lace there for the grounding wire. A couple there for the contacts the relay of the surge so that when the surge trips the servo gets triggered and can notify me so the other end we're going to digital input 2 and I've connected that red cable onto the bottom side of those circuit breakers I'll crimp on bootlace terminals to the rest of the cables now. Get them all terminated into the surge device, into the servo. I can go outside, drill a hole for the grounding wire through the panel there, next to the orange cable. That'll be bolted straight onto the electrode with a lug. To make sure we got a secure connection into this contact block, I have to add a little solder to the ends of these and just extend that solid section. I found that these bootlaces are just a little bit too short. These are fairly deep terminal. Those little ends have been soldered now, making a solid strand. And press that up into that terminal block. Finish putting the boot laces on this end. I've wired the active. We'll take this little terminal block out here now. And we'll use terminals 11 and 12. And straight back to ground and data two on the digital inputs. Then we'll go inside and set up that input on the PC. The wiring's all complete there. Digital input two. Both those wires pushed into the block now. The grounding wire, active wire, that's protected by the 20 amp circuit breaker. Then up the top there, the contacts of the SPD. We'll put the cover back on that now. All the wiring is complete. Go inside and set that up. Just a couple of settings on the servo to change and everything will be live. There's one last thing to do in the shed. Run this grounding cable through that gland I was talking about earlier. Bolt that onto the electrode. Now that I've finished this, I put the panels on and I can turn the power back on. 
I've had the whole system shut down while I was doing this, just so I could bring that active wire into the bottom of the circuit breaker there. All right, power's back on. Everything's up and running. I've used that 16 mil hole saw to cut through the tin, put a gland in. Then I'll pass that grounding cable through and terminate onto the electrode. There's the six mil ring lug. I've prepped that cable, that's ready now. Use my little hydraulic crimpers to crimp that on. Use the jointing compound in between those washers and the lug. Once that end's crimped on, I'll undo that stainless steel bolt, add some jointing compound, and tighten that back up. That end's all finished now. Ring lug's been crimped on. I've added the heat shrink. Now I can unbolt and add that ring lug onto the terminal there of the electrode. I've added the jointing compound all of the faces there between the lug, the nut, the washers. That keeps any moisture out and get no corrosion. This is a specialised jointing compound designed specifically for this application. That joint's nice and tight now. See the compound squeezed up between all those joints. I'll smear the excess across the rest of it. And I'll keep the water out. Now we just tighten that gland up. Nice waterproof seal. And holds that cable nice and secure. I'm inside on the PC now. This is the remote console. We'll click on the menu. Going to settings. We'll scroll down to IO. We're going to digital inputs. This digital input one is my grid switchboard. So the grid connected switchboard has another surge device. I'll set that as generic. So we'll do the same to number two. Now number two is set as generic. Go back and label that. Once you're in device list, scroll down. Here's the new generic IO and here's the grid surge alarm. So I'll rename this one. This here is low. That's because I've got that contact set to normally closed. So if that surge device trips, this will go to high and send an alarm. So under name, Put in off grid surge alarm. Now 
Now enable the alarm. You see there, it's renamed off grid surge alarm, and we got the grid surge alarm. They're both on low. I'll go down the shed now and pull that surge device out of its holder, and this will change to high and send an alarm. Before I pull that little unit out, there's a couple of things I have to do. This is a release tag. Just flip this down very gently with a screwdriver. And also have to isolate the circuit. So there's the little tag that locks the device in place. Remove that. Now I take that device out of its holder. And the servo has gone into alarm. We'll go up inside and have a look on the screen. All right, that's working perfectly. You can see there off-grid surge alarms come up. Got that warning icon. I'll go and replace the surge device and clear that alarm now. I've replaced the SPD now. Click the tick there. Clear that notification. I'll head back down the shed now. Get the panels all back on. Tidy up. Give the room a vac. That'll be the job done. I've tidied the cabling up for the DC surge install and also that AC surge install. Put the covers back on under there. Put the cover on the panel. That's all finished off now. Now we just have to put the cable way access panel on and the trims, and it's all buttoned up. I have one more array to add to the Primo that's AC coupled to the system. So once that's installed, I've got that breaker for the array, and then I have another panel for these surge devices. So that'll protect that Primo. The off-grid shed is now fully surge protected. The AC and the DC. Also got the AC surge up on the grid board. That's up on the house. So safe and sound, we got the lightning protection. Check out those episodes. If you'd like to find out more, very important also, you don't want to have a lightning strike hit your system, have the whole thing just go up in smoke. Thanks everyone for watching, hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode, there's plenty more coming up, there's going to be a lot of wiring diagram episodes, showing you how all of this is being connected. So take it easy, see you next time.